Hey everybody, this is Jen from Scan and Cut Jam Sessions and Scan and Cut Canvas and Scale Help on Facebook. I talk a lot about scale and what uh, benefits it has, especially with the fonts that we use. Here is one. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like uh, Chimochi or something like that. That's from the Hungry JPEG. Here is what it looks like in Inkscape. Okay, I even pulled up the glyph panel. This is what it looks like, okay? It's not showing any of the glyphs that are available in the font, okay? How do I know that? Because um, if you want to use this and you do not have Shortcuts a lot for, you're going to need one of the Adobe programs. Um, I do have the free CS2 version in the Files tab on my Facebook group page. Um, but it's it's really old and archaic. That's why it's free. Um, they don't publish any updates for it, but it'll work. Um, but sometimes it takes forever to load, and it's just not it's not that great. It's like an old, like probably four hundred year old person. You know, it's it's archaic. Um, but this is what it looks like if you're just using the standard font. That's all the prettier that I can get it in Inkscape. Okay. Look at all of this. This is actually what it should have. This is in scale. Okay, this is in sure cuts a lot. It has all that extra stuff in it. So let's type this out. Okay. Okay, so there it is. Let's blow it up a little bit bigger. But if I want to. I can come and change. Let's see here. I'm going to come up here and I am going to ungroup it. I am going to, oops. Let's change out. Let's change out the D. Oops. Let's change out the D. So this is how you can change the way it looks, okay? And you can add glyphs, these glyphed letters, to it. In Inkscape, you can't. So that's when I tell people when they say, I only have Canvas. It's not that I don't want you to get the Hungry JPEG stuff. I want you to. But it's just that in Inkscape, it's difficult to get all of these extras because it's not built like Shortcuts a lot is. Um, you can use, like I said, the CS2. It is free um, and use it in there. And I'm, if I'm trying to remember correctly, I'm pretty sure that that saves um, as an SVG. And then you can take it into Canvas. Okay, you can use that um, uh, program, and it is in my files. I did use it um, a long time ago before I found. Um, sure cuts a lot, okay? But I just wanted to show you the difference because I can sit there in the group and tell you all day long, but if I can show you this, I think that's really how it helps you because um, you see that pretty much in Inkscape, what you see right here is all that is available to you. And then in Sure Cuts a Lot, we have all of this that is available to us, okay? All right, if you guys have any questions, get a hold of me over on the group page um, at Scan and Cut Canvas and Scal Help. Thanks.